Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Yvonne Kendi and in this channel we do home organization videos and cooking videos. For today's video, I remember in my last decor haul that I did, I talked about this marble tile that I got from Thailand Carpet Center. If you have not watched that video, kindly do so. You get the prices and everything over there. So I talked about this marble tile and I said I'll be creating a cute tray with it. So that's what I'll be doing in today's video. And as I do it, I will take you along with me. If you're interested, keep watching the video. So what you'll be needing for this project, it's a marble tile, two hurdles, adhesive glue, tape measure, and a pencil. When you have all these things, the first thing you want to do is take your measurements, measure out where you want the adults to go, and after you've measured and you're sure where you want to place your adults, mark using a pencil. After that, now you want to attach the adults and we are going to be using the adhesive glue. I'm using E8000 on this project. But if you can find the E6000, then that would be great because that's what I would recommend you to use. It has more holding strength than the E8000. You apply it to your hurdles as fast as possible. You don't really need a cotton or rear bud. You can apply straight from the tube. Then apply a bit of pressure to help with the holding strength. After that, do this on the other side and make sure you use the same measurements on both sides. In case of any excess, wipe quickly using a cloth before it dries on the, on the tile. And don't use too much glue, just use enough. And then you allow your tray to dry for at least two to three days for better holding strength. I'll be leaving mine for three days. And we'll check it after three days. Now, after three days, we can try and test and see if the adults are holding onto it well. And as you can see, I can lift my tray. Now, my tray works as a coffee station in my kitchen. You can check my previous video to see how I styled, I styled it. I even tried to place uh, some uh, items on top of the tray just to see if it has the strength. And as you can see, I can lift it easily. I have a disclaimer on this one though. When it comes to the strength, and how well or long the glue holds, I'm not 100% sure on that one. But since I created my tray for decorative purposes, it means I will not be carrying it around as much. And what this gives me is a higher chance for my tray to maintain the strength the glue has on it. So, chenyendaribu kusema, ni like, if you intend to create this tray, because the outdoors might come off. Alright? And someone might ask me then why you put the hurdles if they are going there's a possibility they are going to come off. For me, when I bought it, it was just a tile. And I wanted it to be more of a tray. And the only way I could make it look like a tray was placing these adults. So these adults are acting like a they are doing more of decor work, so I will not be carrying my tray around every other time. So you can use this tray as a decor piece um, to hold your perfumes, your makeup items, skincare products, or even breakfast essentials like I do with my tray. So I would not recommend you to keep carrying it every other time. And I hope I'm clear on that one. I really hope I'm clear on that one. <laughs> so just use it more um, of a decor piece. Usikune beba beba sana, like zine zatoka. 
all right so yes that's my diy my first diy project that i've done in this channel and if you've liked it don't uh forget to give the video a thumbs up and if you're new in my channel then kindly subscribe because i have more content coming up so yeah bye guys and i will see you on my next video